sorry, I love you. I, I love you. Me. I love you. I love you more. I love you. I no, no, no. I don't think that's possible. I do. Yeah, I do. No. Don't don't challenge me. Okay. I will. Don't you want to? You want to? You want to test it? Name what you want me to do, and I will do it right now. Well, I, I'm not gonna do that. Jasper Jones and Delilah Johnson weave the way to that ready fountain, exotic treats. And gay heart beats slam cobbled streets to Trevi Fountain. Jasper Jones and Delilah Johnson weave their way to the Trevi Fountain. Exotic treats and gay heart beats slam cobbled streets to Trevi Fountain. It's from Portugal, you know. It's got to be Portuguese, I guess. There we go. Portugal. <laughs> Here we go. You know, I taste a, there's a little bit of Lisbon in every every bottle. You like the hospital corners thing, but see them your feet. It's like you get in there and it's uncomfortable because you can't move your feet. <laughs> Never really thought about that before. Why guys always want the sheet? Untucked. And girls always want it tucked in. It's because their feet really reach the end. Exactly. See? Jasper Jones and Delilah Johnson. With the red and trend. Scale of one to ten, my buttock. I would say you'd definitely be an eight. An eight. Bullshit. Yeah. This is a tired, saggy ass. Come on. Yeah, but I'm Don't fun. flatter me. I know, I know. It's yeah. a, like a maybe a four. Well, you know, you get extra credit. Heading for three hairy. all the time. You get extra, extra credit for not having a hairy butt. So. Well, that's because I tweet. <laughs> Tweeze, whatever the term is. <laughs> you don't tweet? I tweet my ass. <laughs> I hope you know I have to take I gotta take a knee here. That smells really good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not acting surprised. I'm just saying it smells no, no. purposeful most of the time. Like she's No, when we first met. Oh. When we first met. Ah, oh, when we first met. Where were we at the time? My voice suddenly got higher. What are we talking about? You were drunk. We're at the table, and I went to the bar to get a drink, and then I saw you there, and you looked very familiar, and I looked over at you. Mm hmm And then I looked at you and said, don't I know you from somewhere? And then you thought it was a pickup line. You, I was sitting there, and you were standing, which is kind of a role reversal. Yeah. Yes. And I took you up, and I just, you led me to the dance floor, which I thought was so cool, because girls don't ever lead guys at the dance floor, and I thought, wow. Well, hot. I had this, he had this shy look, and I thought I could probably get away with it. I was thinking, wow, I got the weekend plans. Woo! Well, you oh. gained a little. <laughs> you're light on my feet, though. It's just good cooking. I remember, I don't remember what the music was. Oh, yes, and everyone else is funky dancing, and you're walking <laughs> well, with we were there, and like the whole world tears disappears. For fears or something. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, maybe, yeah. tears for fears, wasn't it? There were people like kind of made a little circle like they do in Remember? Yeah. Remember, you looked at me, you looked up at me. And the whole world disappeared. Aww. Literally, we went into that black hole, remember, and into the void. Aww. It was so romantic. No, but I, I had never felt so comfortable just naturally with a girl like that. I had never felt that comfortable, you know, just an automatic comfort level. It was so nice. It was just so delightful. And then I grabbed your ass. Jasper Jones and Delilah. I just want to thank you for uh, being cool, being a cool chick, being uh, hitching the get along, humoring me and saying I have an, an eight ass when I know I'm four at best. No. Oh, you're tearing up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so sad about you, <laughs> and you do, and you make the funny voices when I get up in the morning. You know. You hate that? <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. I just want to say thank you, 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 a thousand times over. Thank you. Okay. All right, and I mean it, okay? Come on. I'm not just saying this because I, I don't have anywhere else to live. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But anyway. I'm gonna work a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's that's all. This is very nice to have this place to come to. And you love me. And I love you. you love I honestly do. So let me get you. Broken and her dreams unspoken, casting your tokens to the Travi Fountain. I got the greatest idea of what to go get for my little twin nieces who aren't born yet. I bought every book by Dr. Seuss. I got Curious George and Mother Goose. I had all these books in a great big pile, and then I spotted Treasure Island, The Wizard of Oz, and Little Women, Mrs. Frisbee, and the Rats of Nim and Alice in Wonderland, Nancy Drew, the Wind. I hit the mic. Caricature, sir? We'll capture you in like 30 seconds or less, or it's free. I got the greatest idea of what to go get for my little twin nieces who aren't born yet. I bought every book by Dr. Seuss. I got Curious George and Mother Goose. I had all these books on a great big pile, and then I spotted Treasure Island, The Wizard of Oz, and Little Women, Mrs. Frisbee, and the Rats of Nim and Alice in Wonderland, Nancy Drew, The Wind in the Willows, and Winnie the Pooh, Paddington, James and the Giant Peach. The books were half price. So I got two of each. Caricatures, folks. Five dollars, or free, if that's all you got. <laughs> I want to kind of feel out this whole situation a little bit more. We, we've been living together for two years now. You know, me and your house. I am a it's kept man. Yeah. You're not a kept man. You feel no. like a kept I don't, man? I don't mind. I'll live it. I'm living in the crotch of luxury here, man. But anyway, um, the fact of the matter is that this is, you know, you're, you're my first time. First time living yeah. together? Well, that too. First real, what do you mean? My first time. First, am I your first girlfriend ever? Yeah. Really? Yeah. My okay. dad never got me a hooker, so <laughs> put two and two together, <laughs> honey. Me too, dad. You mean first, like, everything? Yes. You didn't know that? No. You didn't sense it? No. You didn't, like, well, the first time when I was like, where do I put this? Because you were kidding. <laughs> oh, well, it was. I'd seen manuals. <laughs> who's, who's manual? <laughs> <laughs> the gardener? <laughs> This isn't terrifying you, is that is that's no, what I'm asking? No, 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 I think it's wonderful. This doesn't like freak you out? Not at all. I didn't know that. I think it's sweet that you chose me. <sighs> yeah, well, I really love you, okay? Love you too. I really, no, I mean genuinely. I know. Profoundly, okay? Yeah. I think you're sweet as all fucking shit. <laughs> Well, this is, this is a huge thing. I mean, 35, can you imagine? I mean, for a woman, it's I'm sure it's tough, but for a guy to wait 35 years, it's like, mm -hmm, I yeah, yeah. I guess if you're like... I thought I was gonna kill you the first time. I thought I was gonna like shoot you across the room because it's like, it's just... I say that things like that to break the tension. I know. You know how I first learned about um, climaxing and stuff? 26? Oh, Lord. No. No, I don't want I'm climbing a rope. Trust me. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've never climbed a rope, though. What is it? What do you ever climb try it? I like your sex, sex, sexy walk almost as much as I dig your dirty. Dirty talk, talk, talk. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk. All those as much as I dig your dirty, dirty talk, talk, talk. So wet your lips, now. shake your hips. You know you make me do backflips with your bump and grind. You blow my mind. I think I'm going blind. I like your sex, sex, sexy talk. All those as much as I dig your dirty, dirty walk, walk, walk. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk. So oh, have you? Did you Come here when you were in university often? Oh, I wasn't here. Was Where was your hangout? Like, what would you say was your, like, what was your turf? There was a place called the beach. They used to have, like, they used to have 10 cent drink nights on Thursdays. 10 cent drink? 10 drinks? cent drink night. Oh, so that's you could throw dangerous for, in a college town. You could be just completely sick for a dollar. One time, I just woke up at somebody else's house. Who? A guy? I don't know. Did you go to a lot of these parties where, I mean, not necessarily that you drank, but that you would, you know, 
wind up hanging out with certain people and you know or you would you'd wind up with one you'd start out with one group of people but you'd wind up in another circumstance Spit it out did you, what you want to ask did me. you did you did you cavort a lot cavort 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 what is cavort oh well, you have relations can i see if i slept around no. I'm not, I don't want to put it so crassly because well, I don't think that's you. So I'm only curious, did you ever do it with a vegetarian? It's <laughs> a fair question. Uh, yes. So were you exclusive to vegetarians? Or? No. What? How do you know he was a vegetarian? You told me. Was that part of the, the allure? No. Well. I mean, was that how the, the relationship started? I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I'm a vegetarian too. Let's go hang out in my van. Is that how it kind of... <sighs> what? You get so exasperated when I ask this. You always look so peeved at me, and it's like, I'm just curious. I'm always. Nothing. Um, you just always ask it like it's something. I'm not... Creepy. No, or... no. <laughs> I still think it's People important, talk really. about sex. They know, I don't know, but... I don't like, where was the weirdest place you ever did it? The weirdest location. This isn't fair because you can't do this fast. No fair. I can, I can, I can punt. I'll think of something. But you'd have to make it up. No fair. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll give you a, a good story. It was the weirdest place. Then you're gonna have to tell me the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you. Sure. You know how embarrassing it was. Okay. You gotta start. Okay. What? The weird place. Are you ready for this? Mm hmm. Got my seatbelt on. Go for it. Tell me. Repelling down a mountain. <laughs> in the act of repelling? It was not like hanging off a. <laughs> Who initiated it? Not my idea. I don't know. I didn't even know how to repel. <laughs> you were just, just too on. polite to say no? No, no. like fun. Okay. What was the wildest place we ever did it? I guess it was like. We did it in the kitchen once. Pretty wild. Yeah, it was really wild. His name was Cliff, too. You're kidding. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It was like his destiny. Uh -huh. How many like weird places would Your you turn. stay? All right, all right. Well, when I was, I guess, when I was a teenager, um, I was into. We used to live in a pretty wide open. You know, we had like two acres of property on our in our house, and. Uh, I don't know what it was. I was at that age, like 14 years old, where you're fascinated by nudity and, and even your own. And so I went out on my bicycle and uh, I was riding around in our lawn, like naked. Naked on your bike? Well, just from the waist down. Banana seat? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Uh, it was like a 10 speed, I think. Ooh. Uh, and my dad caught me. I tried to play it off. But I don't think Dad bought it. Played off hell. Like, oh, um, just, uh... I didn't realize I didn't have my pants on, Dad. <laughs> I don't remember. I tried to play it off. That's really good. So, how old were you when you, uh, you know, first lost it? Oh. So this is just curiosity. No. Yeah, just like. Just a second. No, go ahead. That? Speaking of my lapel. I'm just kidding. I need a real napkin. Uh, 14. 14? That's pretty young. Holy crap. I think, yeah. Well, he was, um, he was 14 too. 14? Well, it's not like you. <laughs> Some <laughs> evil man came in, you know. No, I'm... Holy cow, that's very young. I mean, that's like inner city. Well, at 14, honey, I was like getting my woodworking merit badge. I well, was. I was a Girl Scout. I don't know, it's just one of those things that happened. We were just curious. And one thing led to another. I don't think you realize what we were doing. It just accidentally happened? Well, I mean. This, I know. Oops, how'd that get in there? No. Well, well, 14, innocent, honey, though. that's young. 14. Yeah, it was a bad experience. It was a nice, nice experience. It was a good way to get it over with. Yeah, but. Oh. I mean, not get it over with, but you know, it could have been some traumatic pressure at the 
calm kind of awful thing, or you know, instead it was just, you know, me and another kid, and just kind of curious. And one thing I do another, and we're on board. Well, that's, that's remarkable. I'm quick. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to Cliff. Was he your boyfriend all through college? No. Just a while. Who, like, who was after him, probably? That would probably be Billy, Billy Watts. And so he was your boyfriend for the rest of college? No, um, Billy, the, um, I think it's not with Billy for a little while. Did you guys do it weird anywhere? <coughs> the experimental? I'm just asking. How long is this going to go on? I'm just asking. I'm just curious. Uh, I'm making light conversation. No, not really. It's like nothing really weird. Anywhere weird. Is that why you broke up with him? Oh, I didn't really break up with him. We just sort of... Got drunk and wound up in some other guy's car. No, you're getting, I told you, you said, you kidding. said you weren't going to be like that. I'm you cheesy, said, I'm we're not going to talk about this if you're going to be like no, that. No, no, you I'm said you were just curious, and this was like, see, when girlfriends talk about this kind of thing, it's just like, oh, you did? Oh, you're kidding. Really? No, 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 no. They talk about it, and they tell you what they did, and you just think well, about it, and it's over. They never go, oh, meh. Well, guess what, honey? I'm not one of your girlfriends. Well, still, you said. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to pick a fight, honey. I'm, well, you're bringing it up just, like it's something nasty. Yeah, well, I'm just curious. I, you know, I like to know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> that, that wasn't a loaded statement, I'm sorry. That came well, it doesn't have anything to do with that. I know. I mean, I that's know. the past. It's like a different life. I know. I know. It's like, I, know. I don't it's think about them it's part in of that I way. Think. I don't, you know. And, and, you know, you run across them now and then here or there or send Christmas cards. And, but it's not even part of my life, so it's not a. Well, then why don't you. Why are you so afraid to talk about it if it's because doesn't you get matter. creepy? You get creeped out. You start acting creepy, like creepy. Mm, 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 did you get drunk and look at somebody else's house? That was creepy. That was negative. This is what guys talk about. They like to know. They like no, to talk about each about other. When they talk about with each other, they don't like bring it up like that. All right. So you don't want to tell me any more about the. Um... You can tell you whatever you want. If you want, you know, I'll tell you no, whatever no, no, no. you want as long as you don't get creepy about it. You can get okay. weird. Is it freaky? Is it gonna freak you out? I won't get creepy. That's my my definition of creepy. <laughs> it's different I than your definition of creepy. I will try my best not to be creepy. Okay. My so eyes will not bug of, out. Is this just out of curiosity's sake, or are you well, freaking out? No, oh, yeah, it's basically curiosity. It's human, I think, to be interested in these sorts of things. I mean, you know, 35 years of not doing it, you you think about it a lot. So I... Vicariously through me. I have to vicariously through, 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 through you. I'm, I'm imagining me up there with Cliff. No, wait. No, I'd rather imagine you on the bicycle. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> So how many guys did you have in college? Did I have? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Rounded down. Boyfriends. Please. Boyfriends. Boyfriends. Well, maybe... In college? Yeah, okay, I'm trying college. to think of when I started college. There was... I'm uh, not being creepy. Calculator? I'm just trying to think because there's you know, some people, there were some guys that I went out with that didn't really get boyfriend status. You know, like you're, they, you ever date somebody okay, and okay. Sure they don't become your boyfriend, even boyfriends. Simplify the question. How, how many did you have relations with? Relations. In college. Any guys in college that I have relations with? Yeah. Yes. That's what you really want to know. Yes. How and many? Where we, we find Round myself. it down. Round it down? Please. I, what do you mean, like with. For my sake. There are no decimals. <laughs> Well, if it's like 17-ish, you think, well, let's say, if you're not sure, round it down to 15. But I know it's not 17, I know that's an outlandish number. If it was... I don't know. How many? Just I'm the same ballpark, curiously. Like three? Four, maybe? Is the gone on creek out? No, problem is. Maybe fifty. Fifty. What about? Hmm. I wouldn't know that, except to me and one of my girlfriends. So, like, decided to count once and see if we could figure it out. Because otherwise, normally I wouldn't. 
don't count. Yeah, who counts? Well, some people count. Just did. Yeah, it's still funny. I was, I, all I can say is, holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm not getting creepy about it, I'm just like, wow, that's really remarkable. Well, some people, yeah. But... Or did you have like a target that you were trying to go no. for? That worked out. Or it didn't work out. Yeah. Wow, that's... <sighs> did you have like a regular table at the free clinic, or...? Anything like that? What? Come on. I just, I want to know. I'm curious. I want to know all about it. Strange and melancholic, and a blue nest rolls around me round this hour every night. It's got to do with you know who. When she said, Screw this, bought me some string and told me, Go fly a kite. Well, it hurts, I don't mind saying it, and it burns more than just a little damn bit. Well, there's a strange and melancholic, and a blue nest. Mm -hmm. This has been awful this past few days, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I guess it's part of what people go through. Well, we need to talk. We really need to talk. I don't know what to do to fix it, but we can't go on like this. It's just you awful. You want to schedule a time then? Right now. <laughs> we just got to get it over with. All right. Get it over with? Well, get over talking about it. Otherwise, we're just going to, you know, just be like two big people living in the same house who aren't, don't like each other. <sighs> I'm kind of all for just kind of letting it, just pushing it way down and then letting it boil over when we get a pet or something. It seems like it all started when you, we, when, he, when we started talking about our past or mm, my past. You kind of get a little defensive when I bring it up and so I always feel like, okay, are you, are you hiding something? Is there something, um, you know... I have to wonder, it makes me more curious when you're evasive, you know, what, what is there that I should know about, or is there something I should know about? And, well, and then you always, whenever I refer to it, you always say, this is getting creepy, like, you have such a low tolerance for creepy. You asking me was not creepy. I kind of avoided it, because I never think talking about the past is, mm. like that is really important, so I would change the subject sometimes, or I didn't think you really, really wanted to know, but then when you start pushing it, I realized you needed to know. So... I'll just tell you the truth. And you acted very judgmental. And, and, and I know how you are. You, you make jokes. Sometimes you make jokes when you're happy, but you were making the type of jokes that were, that were uh, defensive. You were feeling defensive, like, like you were attacking even. No, you were feeling defensive. But if you want to know about it, I'll tell you anything you want to know, but I don't want you to be judgmental. It's not fair for you to be judgmental, and it's not fair for you to be mean. You need oh. to think about what you're going to say and see whether it's not going to hurt my feelings. And if you have questions, ask me. And if you want to know how I felt, you know, whatever. Why did you sleep with 50 guys? That's what I want to know. I know it's silly, but I was thinking the other day, trying to figure out how to make you understand it, and it didn't really have to pull it. If it were spread out evenly, that would only be 10 a year. That's not so bad. That's one a month. Oh, well then. Never mind. This conversation's over. That's almost, that's one every, Less than oh, one a month. 35 days. A new guy. If you spread it out evenly, which it really wasn't even. I don't want to talk about so. spreading anything out right now. But I have to wonder, is this just because, um, that you've been exclusive to me is because, uh, you know, you're just, you're, you're off your game a little bit? If, if you think I'm a slut, no, you better no, tell no, me no, now. No, 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 You know, no, no, no. if you think I'm an immoral woman, you better tell me now. Mm, well, no, you were an immoral woman. <sighs> You know, it's just that I can't compete with 50 boyfriends. You don't have to compete with 50 boyfriends. Well, it hurts. I don't mind saying it. And it burns more than just a little limpet. Well, there's a straight and melancholy kind of blue. Yeah, I got this girlfriend, you know. Um, 
I find out, you know, I, we've been dating for like two years now, you know? And I thought our relationship was a certain way that, you know, we really were like soulmates, that kind of thing, you know? And I find out she's fucking been like soulmates with like 50 people in college alone. Who knows how the fuck many other soulmates she's had. We're really, women are the wrong people. Yeah. There is no way of understanding. They're like a whole other gender. Aren't exactly. They? They're, a whole other, they're like a whole other species. Exactly. You got the male human species, then you got the female alien species. And you say, okay, how did they come from us? Because they're, they're all person. You can't, you can't understand it. No matter how, no matter how long you study them, you can't understand it. I mean, isn't that a lot, don't you think? Isn't that a tremendous That's amount? That's a lot of guys, especially for <laughs> yeah. Imagine how many apple how many yeah. And it's like there's this group of guys out there like like it's a club and I'm like the latest member, you know. It, it just depends how important that kind of question is to somebody. I mean if it's important to you and you found out later that oh this girl that I really found the magic with, you know, in the last month or so ended up being with 30 or 40 guys in the past, then you know, it's just something you you'd have to be it's a personal thing, you know. I can look past that person because I'm, you know, with the person now, and you know, it's how I feel emotionally about that person now. I'm really never... glad he says that because I have something to tell you. <laughs> uh, it depends where she is in her life right now. Has she changed? Has she, you know what I mean? If she's single, she can be with as many men as she chooses to be with. If she's with a guy and she's with somebody other than that guy, she's a single. What's she well, does she love you? Well, she professes absolutely, and I, I believe her that she loves me. Does she love you? Okay, and after that, what else matters? You know, I'm one of these right-wing Christian type people who, if you've saved yourself, if you've saved yourself from her, then by God, that's that's what you should expect from that relationship. <laughs> Could you marry a porn star? And as far-fetched as it is, it still sort of kind of applies to the scenario. Right. It's what you are willing to accept and what you're willing not to accept. If, if a woman is sexually expressed, there should be no, no extent to which she okay. can go. If she told you that, and uh, you know, she, you know, first of all, she's honest. Right. You know, she didn't tell you she's only been with three guys or something. Have you ever had any suspicions that she? No. You know? To be honest, no. You know what? Stick with her. You love her. You, yeah. You think about marrying this girl? I'm thinking about. It. Marry. She, she, if, if, if you love her and she loves you and you feel like that there's a great trust between you, the both of you, and you can work with her, you know, with compromise, because that's what relationships are about, compromise. Right. You know, dealing with her problems and your problems. You know, that's all that counts. That's all that counts. Doesn't matter what she done in the past. We're living for the future. feeling a little like I've been a little um, aggressive recently that I've been rather insulting to you and I'm very sorry I mean we've got a wonderful thing going here and I would hate to have to fuck it up for some stupid ass reason like my paranoia is well, that so I'm very that sorry that means a lot to me thank you I realize that it's mostly my own paranoia it's I mean I'm still kind of trying to it's still a concern for me, but it's not, it's not, I understand that it's my problem and not yours, and that you have your reasons, your justifications, and it's not for me to question them so, so much, or at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in the process of trying to figure out how to work it out. I've been trying to think of a way for me to, to understand what it is, you know, if I, if I knew these people and somehow could contact them and, and try to try to think of some way to to um, 
to meet them all, you know what I'm saying? Just so I could kind of understand. Well, I know it sounds crazy and I'm not. Are you serious? I think that would be interesting. Oh my God, can you imagine that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it would <laughs> no, wait, be interesting. No, wait, 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 no, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this through. What if I got all these, as many as we can find of them. I mean, the, the people that I've slept with? Yeah. I've had sex with? Wait a minute, how would I do this? Got them all together somewhere. Uh, we could have like a catered buffet and bring them all together and... Oh, you're just messing with me now, right? No, this is, this is really <laughs> fascinating. Okay. Oh my God. This would really, this, this would really help me. This would really help me to understand. If you could get them all, and it would be like a, it'll be like a lodge meeting, so I can meet all of the brothers, you know, the past brothers from the lodge, and we'd have something to talk about, you know. You are serious? And hey, why not? I, I mean, it would help oh, where me. Where do I, do you want me to get a pad and paper, and I can write down all the why not? Wouldn't it be fun? It would be kind of kicky for you, just a, you know, kind of a. Oh, it would be freaky. You would hate it. It would be like a, it'd be like a family reunion, but of. People that have done you. Uh, I mean, in a loving way. Oh, puke. What? No, what? 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 How? What good is this gonna do? You have to understand. I, I, I have, I have my own extreme personality too. You know, and my, that's why I didn't do anything till I was thirty-five. And there, I have my own internal reasons for needing to do strange things occasionally, like this, or not strange, but at least strange to you. Yeah. But it's important to me. Okay. Yes, but see, my things that I did that were strange to you, I didn't involve you in them. It was before you were ever around. It would have well, bothered you if I had known you then, and I loved you, and it would have bothered you. Then you wouldn't have slept you. with all those men. Well, of course not. Well, thanks, dear. Yeah. You're a hell of a gal. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to try to explain to you why, because it's just way too complicated. But I think once I do this and all this and I pull it off, that's it. It'll be out of my system. It'll be done. And we'll <laughs> never have to go this. Where, where, we'll what never about have to you? have this discussion again. What do you mean? What do you mean? What about you? What about how this makes me feel? Well, why? Why would it? I mean, you slept with him in the first place. Why would this bother you? Just, I'm not asking well, you to. Well, I'm still sleeping with them. I don't marry any of them. If I wanted them all to be a part of my life right now, they probably and vice versa. You know, would you want me to go call up every girlfriend you ever had and like pester them about you? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I got the but two I'm, minutes. I'm trying to think how I would feel if some girl called me up and said, Hi, I'm, you know, Barbara, and I'm dating, you know, Fred, and uh, he said he slept with you once, so I wanted you to come to South Carolina and have dinner with us. <laughs> well, okay, you know? I won't, make, I won't, I won't I pitch go, well, it like that. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll phrase it a little differently. Now, if Maybe to dispel some of the awkwardness, we can, like, raffle off a bat's boat or something. I don't know. A what? A bass boat. Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure some way that we can boat. just, if this is making you feel kind of weird, that some sort of pretense that we can give to this evening that, I don't know what, it's going to take some thinking. I can't get past the bass boat. We could raffle it, I'm saying. It's like, at a, I don't know. I'm just, it was a silly idea. I just threw it out there. Don't get let go of the bass boat. Okay, because okay, because that idea was silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, see now this fact here. How about if I give you a back rub on the wand? Go over there. <laughs> now you're making me feel weird. Oh well, good because you are weird. You're you're fighting this idea. Yes, it's ridiculous. You're fighting this. It's so ridiculous. I don't think so, honey. I think if if you if you uh, I don't want to lay it on the line, and I, if you if you if you care about me, you'll let me do this. Why are you looking at me? You, are you here? Where where did you go? You're giving me the strangest look. Look, I'm gonna do this, honey. It's gonna happen, okay? It's going to happen, and I will try to involve you as little as possible. But I will ask that you not fight me, please, okay? Please, and I'm not. Hope you don't. <laughs> Come on. I need this, okay? No. Just, just let me do it. I will, I will try to involve you as little as possible. You're nuts. Oh, God. This would make a great movie. Well, we could film it. Oh, mm -hmm. You know what's blowing?
slow in my mind is that I have been faking this seriously enough to be annoyed by it. Don't be annoyed, honey. Uh, don't don't trouble yourself at all about this. This is this is something that I will take care of. It's totally up to me. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be nearly as weird as you think it is. <laughs> I'll do it. You don't have to do anything. Just give okay. me the names. Okay. Do you, do you have like a, a book of them anywhere? Uh, a little black book or a little pink book? Let you and me go down to the sea To see what we can see down by the sea We'll take a walk along the rugged shore Telling sad tales of dead kings and nothing more And let the silence between the words speak for itself And the tide comes rolling in And the ships go sailing out And I guess that's what it's all about So we'll chart a course for some exotic foreign land on a simple driftwood boat we'll build by hand And if the fates a mighty storm should send At peace I'll be, knowing I was with thee till the end And the tide comes rolling in And the ships go sailing out And I guess that's what it's all about You, did you go to the hardware store today or anything to get supplies for the garden, gardening supplies? Hardware store? Um, or the gardening supply store? Not today, but I went yesterday. You the reason I was asking, I was trying to remember, didn't you have a, don't you have a ex that works at one of those places nowadays? Oh, um. Dwight or something? Yeah, well, yeah, well, he used to. Well, I haven't seen him in a long time. I don't know if he's still name, but I've been thinking of, you know. Maybe I can get a discount or something at one of those places for us. What's uh, his last name? What are you up to? Um, I'm playing that party. Massage D. Massage. I will give you one name for every 15-minute massage. D. Massage. After the massage. All right. We're, we're, we're started, so the contract has been signed. Honey, need a, need a name. <sighs> Just any old name, or would you like to? A legitimate any, name. Are you going to go in any particular order? Do you want, like, you know? I'm going to get whatever I can at this point. Okay, how about Abe? Abe, Abe Daniels. Abe, oh, Abe Daniels. I think okay, so we call the Abe. Right one. Is he in town? No. Do you know his number? Yes. Spill it. I don't have it memorized. I don't know any numbers except for my mother's and ours. <laughs> So, there you go. Well, that was one. Did we not, didn't I say two? You only said one for a massage. <laughs> Am I going to have to slip you a Mickey? Is that what it's going to take? Because I got Mickeys, honey. So do I. I got a bucket full of Mickeys. Three Mickeys. All right, now give me a name. Give me a name. Gosh, I can't, you know, you are so you lucky have... to have me. Do you know how lucky you are to have me? I know, honey, and I'm, I'm realizing the dimension Because any other, the because any other woman would have kicked you out so long ago for being such a turd. I know. You're a hell of a gal. Give me names and I'll help you with any chore you need. I can whip out a blouse like that in no time. This I, is so cool. This is, this is so good. I can get so much work out of you. Isn't it something? See? See, we're the get along gang. Do you have Max DeBroy in there? The Max professor? DeBroy. That's that professor guy. Remember him? He was like the last guy I dated before I graduated. Max but DeBroy, okay. I don't know how you're going to find How did him? it end? Was awful. Um, was there somebody else in the picture at that yes, point? Yes, he was married, and I didn't know. He thought I knew he was married, and I didn't know. He, and everybody in the entire art school knew he was married, except for me. I don't know how I didn't know that. I missed the first <laughs> couple weeks of school. He was married to the woman who was the head of the dance department. It was okay. horrible, and I didn't All find right. out till final exam party. All right. I show up thinking I'm his date, and uh -huh. she's there. That's tragic. I need another name. That was horrible. You okay. don't even care. So you, you didn't you get just to... names. You don't even care what's involved. All right, well, who was it after the Max then? Okay, after Max, you, you were out, you were depressed, you went out to a bar, you went out... Oh, that's or, right. 
there. I did. Did you? Okay. <gasps> now who'd yes. you meet at the bar? Oh, this was normal guy. He's really, really handsome and really, really normal. He's business Mike. major, nice Mike. Right. Mike, Mike Normal. Business major. No, they called him Mike Normal for years, because that's the joke. Well, I'm blasted. I'm completely drunk. I'm doing shots. These flaming oh. shots. Right. And um, I just let him take me to his place. Uh -huh. And um. How did it? How did having sex? Right. And everything's fine. Uh huh. And he calls me. You're shitting me. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but it was awful. Okay, you so you got up the next morning, and who did you fuck? Diamante. Pablo. Santiago Diamante. Santiago. Wow. Yes, and he was very. You did him just for the name. Yeah, he was a hacky sack player. He was. <laughs> a professional hacky sack player. Yes. There's a circuit. He had the most beautiful feet of any man I have ever met. So we started traveling. We did the travel through Europe, and then we first we went to Mexico. No, it's not Europe. It's Europe. Well, we did our traveling. It was our big deal. It was our adventure right. time. Did I tell you about the bike wreck? No, oh my god. I go over this hill. It's a very gradual hill, so uh -huh. I didn't realize it was coming. And, and it's raining, and it's, it's, it's a big hill. Right. I try to brake. The brakes are wet. I skid, and there's these, <laughs> these sheep crossing the road. Uh -huh. And they're going really fast because I guess they want to get home. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about the sheep. But I hit a sheep. I ran right into a freaking sheep. Yeah. Yeah. You anyway, I think I heard these him. stories. These are great. I was stories. going to. That was the whole point of the trip. Is that we were going to put these all, put all our adventures into a book. Yeah. Um, sheep are hard too. They look all fluffy like little hard. clouds, but they're not. So I hit a sheep. I fall in. I hurt my ankle. I think I, you know, sprained it. And I'm stuck there. It's in raining. And I'm hurt, bleeding in the ankle. And I can't get up. And I can't ride. Right. My bike's broken. And I'm <laughs> sitting on this wall crying. And um, where's the sheep? I hit the sheep that get to the guy. The farmer, the, the, the farmer guy. The farmer who owns the guy. sheep is behind it. He's trying to round him up to get him out of the rain. Uh -huh. And he finds me. Who's the so. farmer? Who's farmer? His name is the connection? Guy. Guy? Like guy. Guy. Like guy. Yeah, like right. guy. Guy um Oh Guy. I remember it was reminded me of Jean de Florette, but it wasn't Guy Guy Chauffleur. Chauffleur, because it reminded my chauffeur. And that's the, that was the joke, because he was, he was... Fleur? How do you spell that? Chauffleur. It means cauliflower. Anyway, I stayed with um, Guy, and he was just wonderful. And well, I hope we that had didn't a sort of slow you down not having a bike for a while there. Well, did. I kind of stayed put. I had to wait for my ankle to yeah, um, swell or whatever it is to yeah. break down. Anyway, Guy was very, very handsome and charming. Yeah. Well, okay, we got enough off of Guy. Guy Chauffleur. Okay, so that's over. Guy, but I didn't tell you about Guy. No, you just told me about Guy. Gee, how many, gee, like, how many, one leg? I, I don't need to hear about it. You don't hear about it? Like, no, I want to know who was that. Okay, so you get the bike you back. You just want names. You don't care anything about these poor souls, these well, sweet I, people, I'll, and these I'll interesting get this people, in the these freakazoids. There's too many. I don't have I don't have time for every story of every guy that you can Well, you know, I mean, it's, they're not just names. You know, they're people. Yeah. yeah. Except okay, well, who's one next one after Gee? Who was Gee? I don't know, but I'm never getting out of here. Yeah, I know the feeling. Go Does ahead. it count if we didn't really do it? Uh, no, you, you actually had to have been with them. Well, see, now this one, it's kind of hard to say because we tried, but we couldn't. You tried, but you couldn't? Yeah. What was the matter? <laughs> well, are you sure you don't want, the, do you want stories? Well, I don't. You said you didn't want stories. You, you tried, mean. but you couldn't. You mean. <laughs> yeah. I just. That troubles me. You, you couldn't. Uh, he couldn't, or you couldn't, or no, he could. He was Maybe just he so big. Is that what you're gonna tell me? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Um, his name was um, Ra big Raphael. Raphael. <laughs> That's just perfect. Of course, you gotta, Raphael. You gotta roll the R. Raphael. Raphael right. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, he was a bullfighter. Raphael was a bullfighter. Mm -hmm. We just saw the name was something something or other Tony Adora. And we thought, oh, bullfight, this will be cool. We'll kind of find out. It's like the midget bullfights. He was a midget or the bulls were midgets? Both. It's very popular. Uh huh. But um, they're like a combination between like rodeo clowns and Chippendales dancers. Right. The funny part is not that he was a little guy because that's really not that funny because once you sort of get used to mm -hmm. the scale, um, you don't think anything of it. He was just a regular scale. guy. But he was really, yeah, he was really charming, and, and um, 
it was a big deal. I mean, people, the women there were like thinking I was really lucky. Yeah. Raphael. Well, yeah, Raphael. Yeah. That's this is Raphael. They would go. I mean, what are you gonna do? How often do you date a fidget bullfighter? You gotta yeah, sleep with them so you can say. Hey. Yeah. I mean, you know. You well, in your case, I don't know. John, Johnny Murray. Johnny Murray. Mm -hmm. We went to Halloween. Went to Halloween party together, and he dressed as a pirate. And I dressed as a guy, you know, and I had, I put like mascara on my real mustache, you know? Right. And, and, and I, I mean, I had a sock in my pants, a wallet in my pocket. I had the whole thing, and I was just like being a guy all night. People kept asking us for your brothers. And then we run into one of my friends, my friend Jeff comes in. He stops and just goes, you know, I introduce him. And he goes, oh my God, do you guys know how much you look alike? And I was just, oh yeah, so I've got to go tea. And he's just like, do you? Oh my God! So he starts calling people over to see how much we look alike. Right. First, he explains to them that I'm guy. We went and looked in a mirror in the bathroom, and we looked exactly alike. He was like my twin, right, and we couldn't date anymore because it was just like right. So because you look so much alike, he was like too narcissistic. So now, it was creepy. Anthony West. He's a nice guy. He works at this place. He does. Yeah, he's an um, accountant. Accountant. Really. How did you hook up with him? I gave him my phone number because I kind of liked it. He had this kind of Jeff Goldblum-y kind of nerdy thing that I like going, you know, kind of like, I don't know. Like I gave him the number and I said, well, you're not going to remember oh, that if you don't write it down. And he goes, no, I'm, I'll remember it. I'm like, how are you going to remember that? And he goes, well, the prefix is my mother's birthday. And the other four numbers are the, uh, what, like, coefficient of kinetic friction or something. And he, uh, yeah, he thought that was sexy. So I gave him the directions to my house. He goes, oh, your address. It's pi. Uh, Oh, stop. It's probably over the three seconds wall. Yeah. Gareth. His name is Gareth. Gareth? The chiropractor named yeah. Gareth. He's not really a chiropractor. He's, he's just not licensed. But. He's an unlicensed he's a body chiropractor. Worker. He's not even a body worker. He's a drug dealer. Gareth. He would do adjustments to people at the house, and then he would give them, you know, herbal tea. And it wasn't tea at all. I found that out one time when um, one of my girlfriends had a thing with her neck, and uh -huh. he wouldn't work on her. You know, his real name was just like. Well, that's what I'm trying to ask. Like Robinowitz or something, but he comes to Gareth. You know, and every new agey people. New agey people always have to make up new names for themselves. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> well, I want to have some for the party. No! Hey. Hurry! What's going on? Hey. What's going on? How are you? Okay. Well, somebody was. I was talking to somebody about you the other day. They were like, uh, have you seen Sharon? And I was like, I, I haven't seen her around town. You know, I've I, been around. I don't know. We can get to each other. Cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. I mean, uh, but you, uh... Howard, Howard, this Hi. is Corey. Hi. Hey, how are you? Uh, this is Wilfred Howard. Oh, this is Wilfred Howard. Hey, how's it going? You're just fine. How are you? Did you guys date, by the way? Yeah, well, we hung out. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's nothing like, like, uh... We worked together for a while. We were old friends. Yeah, I mean, a while back. What? I mean, oh, yeah, a book or something? Howard you know? has this project that he's doing. And I might as well tell you, because you'll probably get out of here. <laughs> this is the hot and spicy mustard that you love so much. Hot and spicy? Don't hurt you. That's the stuff that you insist that we get every time. It's good stuff. You like it? I've always wondered where that, how the hell you picked up that. So it's the man here. Howard's insistent on getting a hold of all my old uh, friends and boyfriends. And he thinks he's going to have a get together. Uh, it's just a little kind of informal. And I don't know why. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead. I didn't want to interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, no, I didn't, so. didn't mean to. It's oh, good to meet you, sir. It's nice to meet you, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll uh, get together and compare notes. Y'all be right. careful, all right? If I do. Uh -huh. Get gotcha. you. Hope to see you there. I truly deserve a medal when they get through this grocery trip with you asking all these questions and running into the But you court, won't believe how having... strong we're going to be at the end of this. How strong, how completely bonded. I'm going to know you inside out, upside down. I've known you upside down a couple times. Is there anybody else in Mexico? No. Okay, south of France. There was a waiter. Okay, who was the waiter? No, he was in the south of France, though. Nick, Nick the Brick. That was Nick the, the bodybuilder guy, remember? No, this is Nick Focus. And, and he's a nice guy. You can Focus? Him. Weird name? I know. That's why he called himself the Brick. I got him to hmm. quit bodybuilding. Got him to quit. Well, thank God, honey. Yeah, I don't like inflatable guys, really. Yeah. He was just all poofy and... He yeah, shaved no, his chest, he that. tanned, and he was nice, though. I could tell that there was a, mm -hmm. a, a slim 
quiet a slimmer, guy begging to come out. Less muscular man underneath. Yes, and there is, and there was. You'll see him. Uh -huh. Oh, after Nick. Um, drastic departure. That's Melvin after Nick. Melvin. We yes, went from Melvin. Nick to Melvin. Okay, who Melvin after Melvin? Melvin six cats. I ever tell you about Melvin? That's great, He had them trained like dogs. Six. Wait, sit, beg, paw with the, you know, shake, mm -hmm. heel, fetch, and speak. Speak? Mm -hmm. All six of them laying around the house, and he could just go, Elmer, speak. Hi. Tweety, speak. Think of it, six cats. That's and like no recycling. 42 cans of food a week, and he wouldn't recycle. And he was wouldn't, didn't even clean them out, or wouldn't he let you recycle them? But I would. I'd try to recycle them, but he wouldn't do it. I mean, yeah. I'd leave town for a week or go somewhere, and 42 cans a week, just piling up in a landfill. That's disgusting. Okay, so... Yeah. I just can't be so much recycle. So, Rich which, Boy's next. Rich, which, boy. Rich, Rich Boy. Rich Boy. Yeah. Um, What's his name? Rich? No, he was Reggie. Reggie. Oh, that's right. Oh, Reggie was nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Um. Reggie Whitmire, Reggie Whit, Reggie Whit, Whitmire, Reggie Whitley, Whit something, Whitley, Whitmire. Uh, uh, uh Billy, Billy, um, Billy Watts in there. Uh, Teddy G. Who? Teddy G. Yeah, but we just called him Teddy G. I don't know what his last name is. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Rivers. Castle. Mm -hmm. Professional. Asshole? Yeah, he should have been. Jeremy Rivers, asshole. Yeah. Asshole. I'd prefer you not call him. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we may call him. I kind of like it. I like call? one or two that you didn't like, that you don't have a reverie about. Oh, you want something I didn't like? Well, then the one, okay, well then how about Jealous Guy? I'm a Jealous Guy, he's Who's crazy. That? But I don't want you, I would rather not have him there though, because you know, because he's crazy. George, yeah, maybe we could take George Richards? George Richards, sorry. He was a jealous guy. I don't think you should call him though. He's crazy. George Richards. He's the one who had me followed. Did I tell you about him? I was going home to visit my folks. Mm -hmm. And um, ah, I come back and he confronts me with this information. Mm -hmm. I know where you went. You were having dinner with this handsome man. And you know, he describes this dinner I was having, this handsome older man. And blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on about it. Yeah. It was my uh, dad. You know, he's like, what are you talking about? I kept saying, no. You know, and then I come to find out it's my dad. <laughs> you know what might be good if you just would like write down different. a bunch of the names and you know, and just kind of as you get them, so I don't have to write them. But I don't. And you can have your little reverie in privacy, and, and just write down the names. I just. You are you having trouble with this? No. I think you I are. Agree. I think it's more efficient if you just write them. But you know what? Remember what the agreement was? Why? The agreement was, this isn't my job. This is your project. This is your little freak show well, that you're I'm putting together. I'm going to ask you them anyway, so why don't you write it down and make it easy? Because this is your little job. It's not my project, your project. I said, hey, Jack, sit back, relax, grab yourself a pudding snack while I tell you how I got my Mac back. You see, I like to backpack, so I drove my Pontiac out of my cul-de-sac up to the Adirondacks. I was sitting in my bivouac, it's kind of like a little shack. I had my friend Shadrack and Blue Shack, and we were playing back a rat, eating our flapjacks, tall stacks. When I felt a sharp wax go crack, everything turned roar shack. I came to, I found my Mac been jacked. Uh, so I packed my backpack, thinking I would backtrack, try to find the maniac would jack my Mac Jack. But when I saw a magic yak sitting on a railroad track, sitting on the cognac, playing with a hacky sack. He said for 20 greenbacks, I can buy you what you lack. And I thought, am I on crack? Is that a talking yak? Hi, is there a Nigel Paisley there? Nigel? Yeah, um, my name is Howard. You, you haven't met me. Do you remember a, uh, a uh, Sharon? I'm her, her present beau. Uh, yeah. And I'm trying to kind of get together all the old bows, you know? You kind of, you know, weave the threads together of, of... No, it's, no, we're not, I'm not trying to get samples from anybody. Let me just kind of put a, can I put a, a maybe by your name, uh, call back later? Definite no. Yeah, all right, well, thanks a lot, sir. Bye-bye, Nigel. Lots more efficiency. God. Hi, yeah, I'm looking for a, a Joey Smithers. 
You're Joey. You have a, a kind of a girlish quality to you. <laughs> You're a girl now. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta get you. Do you, if you remember a Sharon? This was a turning point for you? The night you spent with Sharon was... Oh my god, that's interesting. <sighs> no, no, that's alright, that's alright. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna hang on to what I got. I don't want to change my surface. <laughs> All right, ma'am, I will do that. And thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, Lord. <laughs> okay, well, she, she, it's gonna show up. That is great. Hi, I'm looking for a, for an Abe Daniels. Melvin White, please. Mr. Watts, I'm looking for a Ronald Hart. Um, I'm calling on behalf of um, Sharon uh, Collins. Sharon Collins. Collins, yes. She was an. She was. She was an old. She was a, a previous lover of yours, as I understand it. Were Were you lovers with Sharon Collins? She's an old friend of yours. Uh, you probably. Um, you probably uh, had. Uh, a relationship with her, a, a physical relationship with her. Sure, why not? Yeah. Yes, Sharon Collins. <laughs> Memories come flooding back. I'm sure. You you you, you just don't remember her? Did you? Did... Yeah, I understand. There was kind of a phase in her life where she was kind of like that. Yeah. Well, anyway, the re I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a hot little number. She's quite a little firecracker. Uh huh. Uh. Geez, I, 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 I don't know if she can still do that. Like not really. You were in a band, and she was kind of a groupie, huh? So was she with everyone in the band? Out back of a dance hall one night. Well, all right, I guess roadies too. Holy. Yeah, no, she kind of gave that lifestyle up. Yeah, it's regrettable. She was one of the greats. She was kind of a party girl, yes, as I understand it. Yes, and... Wow, she, yeah, yeah, she's, she's very flexible. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of getting, like I said, this whole gang back together to, uh, to, uh, you know, reminisce, kind of, you know, talk about Sharon, about how we knew her, about what our, the nature of our relationship with her. By the way, you were a lover, right? You wouldn't call it a lover. I'm having a party for her, a get-together, uh, her old bows, her old, um, I'll just say it, lovers, um, and I was wondering if you would be willing to, hello? Hello, Mr. Daniels, my name's Howard, and I'm calling to get a group of people together that were all former, um, lovers of, of Sharon Collins. Yes. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm having this party, this get-together of her ex-lovers, um, and I, I'm, I'm assuming you qualify. Anyway, the reason I'm calling is I'm, I'm having a little party, a get-together of her old boyfriends, her old, um, her former lovers, and, um, um, no, it's not that kind of a party, sir. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not trying to set a record of any kind, no. Um, no, it's not that, I, trust me, it's not that. I sat down on my knapsack, thinking that was that jack. I'll never get my mat back. Oh, and I nearly had a heart attack from a nearby thundercrack. I looked me. over at that hat rack, knick-knack, paddy whack, I jumped back. I got my Mac yeah. back. Jiggle, 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 and that's a fact check. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So the moral of my story, Jack, is if you want your Mac back, okay. buy yourself uh, a Mac Jack. Pay 20 greenbacks, wait for the thunder crack. 
Look over at your hat rack and knick knack well, paddy whack I, I jump back. I appreciate your time and I didn't mean you to just might get your Mac your... back. That's a fact, Jack. You'll be there. Now yeah. I'm the daddy Mac. Great. Alright, thank you, you very much. Bye -bye. I'll see you down the track. Great. Remember her. Relations with guys that don't remember her. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk almost as much as I dig your dirty, dirty talk, talk, talk. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk almost as much as I dig your dirty, dirty talk, talk, talk. So wet your lips, shake your hips, you know you make me do back when you bump and grind, you blow my mind. I think I'm going blind. I like your sex, sex, sexy talk. Almost as much as I dig your dirty, dirty walk, walk, walk. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk. Almost as much as I dig your dirty, dirty talk, talk, talk. So make your move, hit your groove. It's like a miracle at the move. And you bump and grind, you blow my mind. I think I'm going blind. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk. Almost as much as I dig your dirty, Will you marry me? dirty talk, talk. I like your sex, sex, sexy walk as much as I think you're dirty, dirty, talk, 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 bonk. Thing. Oh my god, what did you do? I mean, it looks great. Oh. Lost a bet. Where is it all? I don't know. I think they, they, made, they donated it or something. They said they were going to. The they were going to donate it to orphan or not orphans, the cancer, but cancer kids? to the cancer kids. Oh, you are so sweet. My hair's going to cancer kids. You got some gray in it. I've never done this before, <laughs> but I gave that to you. You look older. Which yeah. Is, but in a good way. I'm thinking of going back, though. Already? I'm just kidding. Well, like yes, I have a it's choice. Kind of like, it's kind of like I'm having an affair with you or something. Like your, your, your brother or something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a this is awkward. <laughs> I'm okay. You really look nice. It's like, well, why'd you cut your hair? What like what came over well, you? Well, there's a there's an event going on soon. Yeah. What? Do you, a job? Did you get a job? New job? Whether to tell you now and <laughs> and give it away or not, but. Uh, I can tell you it. I'm I'm hosting a little party. Yeah, what, what what kind of thing? Huh? Like a bachelor party? You know what I'm talking about. 
Remember that thing I was telling you about before? That little uh, get together, that little reunion. Remember <laughs> we had talking about a couple months yeah, ago. Yeah, you're kidding, right? The shizit is on, honey. <laughs> We're doing it tomorrow night, and you're the hostess, the mostest. You got to be there. You're the, you're the cause salib. You're the you're the grand master of this little. Are you are you, are you screwing with no, me? No, honey, I'm not screwing. <laughs> come on, really? it'll no. be fun. What? Oh, come on! I don't give me grief about this. You said I have entirely organized the entire thing. You didn't have to do anything to, to be involved with it, other than just show up. That's all you got to do, honey. I don't think it'll I be ever fun. said that. I don't think it'll I be think fun. I, I think I think what I said was that I'd rather it'll be you not do that. Can't you just meet them without me? I mean, why? I don't understand. Well, that would be that would be awkward. I don't. I just don't get it. I don't get why you would do this. I mean, I thought you, I thought maybe you just wanted to hear about them to like get it out of your system or something. And I thought that, that you would let it go. And I thought our relationship was starting to get better because you had finally like had your little freak out and you let it go. And, and, and I was starting this to like you last... again. <laughs> you know why I've done all this? Because I want, I think that this will make us stronger. I really do. If we, if we go through this one last thing. If it's just something for you to go it's through, it's all I don't just know smooth as ice capades from here, honey. I think if you show up, you'll understand. You'll have a good time. <laughs> you know, why couldn't you have a surprise party for me except that, and invite all my friends that I have now? I have a lot of my friends now that I haven't seen in a long time. I've got girlfriends who live far away that I'd love to see. I will plan see. that party right and after this one. I'd like one. to see my sisters, and they're in California, and I haven't been able to afford to too. go there. I'll, I'll do that part. Why couldn't you do that instead if you cared about me? If you knew me, you'd do something different. Honey. Or you wouldn't do this at all. You don't. You just don't get me, and I thought you knew me. Will you do this? God! <sighs> Jesus Christ, how many times do you have to sit all there right, and beg just... before you just totally gross me out? All right, then just, just show up. Just show up. I'm not. You can do that I don't even want to hear it anymore. Yeah, you can. Make some sort of effort, please. I know this is a lot to ask, and I will find a way to make it up to you. I will invite your sisters, and we will have a, a freaking hoedown at the state capitol, whatever you want, honey. Just please, let's do this. And if you don't come, we'll just we'll carry on the party without you. Any chance we could, uh, you know, any chance at all? I don't just went away. Are you, what are you, are you kidding me? No. Oh my god. Why? Why not? a negative vibe. This is the Austin Travis room. We've hung your sign up on the wall there. Okay. Oh, um, Welcome, this Sharon. is left over from breakfast. I'll get someone to come and no. clean this up. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 that would be great. I would love it if we could leave it. If we could just leave this here, this would be great. My guests have flown in. A lot of them have just, you know, come right from the airport here, so they would probably okay, like it. Great, yeah, this great. looks like a uh, a good uh, kind of old school corporate meeting get together. I... Hey, by the way, thanks for coming, guy. This is great that you uh, signed on for this. Appreciate well, it. Uh, that was a great idea you had to film this. I mean, I didn't even think about uh, shooting it, so that's great. <laughs>
I thought it was an invitation to come to uh, just to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not I'm, being, I'm being friendly there, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm All right, uh, folks. Nice to meet you, too. A little announcement here. I'm glad to glad that. I'm just glad that you all could make it here this evening. As you know, we're all um, fans of Sharon former bows and whatnot and such like. Approximately 200 people were invited here tonight. Um, <laughs> 120 people responded, 80 in the affirmative, but 60 of them had scheduling <laughs> conflicts. Uh, and I think two or three, four of them couldn't afford to get here. So now we have about, what, 20 people here? Oh, 15, 20, so I'm glad you all could make it. Um, this is just a kind of a get together. Mix, mingle, have some cereal and bananas. What is this? <laughs> that's, that's happening. It's just a meeting of all of Sharon's ex. She had sex with um, uh, lovers, basically. Lovers of Sharon. We just got together. It's a little chance to reminisce, swap was stories, it, was your trade idea? notes. Was it, what was it, what was it, it was my idea. Okay. Yeah. She's been a big backer of it the whole way. It's really excited. She's very excited about the whole thing. I did her taxes. You did her what? Taxes. Oh, you did her taxes. Yeah. You used to be an accountant. You run the numbers with her, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, so she, uh, I'm not sure where I was in the timeline with everybody, but yeah, well, what? Yeah, yeah. Also, especially this Tony, yeah. awkward yeah. moments yeah. make yeah. life last longer. Yeah. They stretch out your life. Yeah. 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 All the Jewish basketball yeah. players. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. well, they won. They do. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They won. Yeah. Yeah. Call me Rosie, by the way. Because, well, she was she she was with a group that liked to hang out outside of it. The game. They didn't go in the game. A basketball groupie, but she was different. A groupie. She was different. She wasn't total trash groupie. Uh huh. Did she like stand outside your hotel room for you? Yes. You know. That part. She was a regular groupie. The why? Um, no. No liquor? All right. I have six cats. I'm good with cats. I, I train cats. I can sit, roll over, stay. They, they can shake. I'm even training them. The, I'm even toilet training them right now. You feed the cats. I'm, I'm you have all these stinky cans. You don't want to keep them in the house in the blue recycle bin, do you? I was third in the state of New Jersey as a bodybuilder. As a bodybuilder. And I thought I was going to go that way. Right. And Sharon, it's not too late. I'm old now, you know. It's a young man's game. And, and I just, uh, I don't have the stamina for it. Yeah. Um, I think I still have some oil. Uh, I mean, Sharon was the catalyst, of course. Uh, I've never saved and I've been sober for 412 days. So anyway, 412 days. Yes. It was more than that. Thank you, Jesus. I was uh, doing some chiropractic. Right? You were doing chiropractic? And uh, herbal, herbal remedies. That's how it was. We were soulmates. Um, well, actually, in high school was the first time. I was a junior, she was a senior. It's actually what uh, what brought me to where I am today. During Le Petit Mort, as the French say. I saw Actually, I used to be a man. I started out, 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 I started out,
to break her heart, but I think she broke mine. She was dating me, she was in the Cowboys, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, stuff like that. So it goes from art directors and actors. I was an artist when she knew me. Oh, I was researching sex toys, and she was. Oh, that must have been. We're behind the counter there. She must have been after me. She wasn't that kind of girl. No, she was crazy with those toys. Ah, there you go. Okay. I still got the scars. Oh, my God. Sharon certainly does get them in. And they're all handsome, too. Ready to go. So she does. I broke her heart. That's all I know. What the hell is it? Well, every letterman does. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there you go. You think that's a sock, man? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> you are the Captain Palace. Or did she tell you about me? I know there's a lot. Well, but she told me about parts of you. <laughs> I mean, it was Cincinnati. She just happened to be there, right place. I don't know if we actually really knew her. Well, I didn't even catch this her is name just a party. Until, uh, and she's a big fan of the band. You know, yeah. she came back the after the backstage. Dave's not here. Not here. Yeah. You are. How do you know? Well, I met her when I was researching one of my adult fiction books. You know one of those airport jerk-off books? I was desperate, I needed some money, but it was fiction. Inspired by... Inspired, well, now I find that it inspired by all these men. So how... What was your driving factor behind inviting this database of human beings to the... You kind of weird, they love you. You want a guy that wrote that, babe? You know, come on, give me a ride, man. If I had a horse that got that road, I'd be selling it an auction somewhere. Does anybody know if Sharon's really going to appear. She's such a diva. She likes to show up late, make a great entrance. She's just going to be as beautiful as ever, I'm sure. She, is she going to be showing up? Oh, yeah, she's going to be here. Yeah. Oh, gonna be here. So she is going to be here. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna be here. She'll be here. She'll be here. I need, I need another drink. Thank you. Because know, when she gets here, I just want to like, you know, absorb, absorb her to a certain extent. I can't envision her as she was anymore. I just, I don't remember much. I, I don't remember much. I, uh, it's a, it's a, maybe I'm cleansed, maybe I... The, mi the mind chooses to forget. Standing still, she's a hurricane on the move. She'll destroy your planet. Her name is Janet. She'll fill your ocean just to drain it dry. If she's in the mood, she'll grant salvation. Or eternal damnation. She's such a temptation. Sharon yet? No, I haven't seen Sharon yet. When's she supposed to be here? She's already here. She's fashionably late. Where is she making it? This is Sharon. She's uh, with me now. Oh, she's with you now. We've been living together for a long time. How long? How long has it been? Well, you would think that maybe you would have. Discuss that by now, no? Uh, no, we, we've just been kind of well, getting another. A couple years now. What? I can just put her right here until the flash is ready and watch you just take a picture since we're all here. Anybody want to join back here and see how many we can get in the frame? <laughs> all right, guys. Watch the flash. Now, on the count of three, we're going to go one, two, three, get her. All right? One, two, Three. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I said, I'm sorry, Sharon. But it's too late to explain. You've already left me, Sharon. Them. Other man. You can't tell him. No, you would never. Please don't like it. As a matter of fact, it's my back to them. And baby, and baby, I just lost the bed. Did you know him now? I couldn't tell you. When I looked in those eyes, I could not tell you. I I'm a 
Well, she told me so. Wow. And uh, the rest, I kind of had to pull out of her. Yeah. And this is quite like an odd event to me, but I could not not to be. It's a beautiful time. I just can't forget. I gotta go to my church. Seven cans of coffee every single day. You come to cans of coffee, you tell us what you're doing. Let me remind you that it's time. There are some. I just lost the bed. I just have to tell you. Dr. Fieldcase did a wonderful job, didn't he? Well, yeah, he's a uh, um, um, Mick over there sitting staring at your house. Oh, I cannot believe the Mick you had. Well, girlfriend, you look marvelous. Thank you. Well, I remember, but listen, girlfriend, I need I need you to write a book on how to meet this many men because you have men with big bulges. I made passes on the, the priest over there. Do I remember you? Did you try on oh, your prom dress that night? Yeah, I, I did try on your prom dress. I thought you were no, just teasing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's something I, I don't know how long I'll stay. I just want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you can't leave? Oh, would you like to meet Joanne? I know a whole lot about Joanne, No, I don't know if I'm ready to take it that next step. Can I? Really? Can I? Can I stop? What the fuck is this? I didn't even know. These are all the guys I've ever dated. So you've had sex with every man in this room. They broke up Jesus, I thought you 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 know how it feels to like feel handsome when you meet someone and all of a sudden you see the standard of people that you date. Man, she's pretty good. Joy needs to be a fucking man. That's what she told me. She was handsome man too. So what freak factor did you see in me? Because this is really freaking me out right now. So where are you a shirt going from here? From here directly? Or in our relationship? In your relationship. I don't know. That's why that's why we're doing this now. To find out. What's the next step, you know? Mac. You're, I love the song. It's great. Is it almost over? Yeah, it's over. Okay, because you're totally uh, you're messing up my sound. Oh sorry, man. Yeah. Sharon does I like to make a little announcement here. I'm just bear with me. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is, if I could have everyone's attention, please, Nick. But I've got a little extra announcement here to make. Uh, Sharon and I have been together for a couple of years now. And uh, this was just a, a step I needed to take with Sharon because uh, she and I have been together a long time. Thank you, man. And uh, I know they need the room here, so we need to keep moving. Um, I'm glad you all could come here and, and share this special moment with Sharon and myself. Sharon, um, we've been together a couple of years, like I mentioned, and uh, I got you this ring because uh, I see you spare no expense. Um, I'm just gonna go for it here, guys. Cross everything you got, fingers, toes, honey. Let's just make this official. Let's wrap this up. Let's move on from this moment here and get on with our lives. <coughs> Allow me to do this. With a little look, a wink of the eye, of the boom, a toss of the hair, a flash of that smile, oh, and it's over. It's a very old... There's two people who've seen me naked who aren't here. It would have been really nice to be here the day you, um, you know, proposed to me. You know who that would be? Who? My mom and my dad. Too. You know? How about my mom yeah. and my dad? How about my family? I like all, I mean, these people all have an important part well, of my a, life. Well, that's a different part of it. Shut up! Sure. We are all through with our food. Oh, shut up. Big baby. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. 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 worry, yeah. honey, don't leave. Hey, wait for me. Oh. So are, I thought it was one last gangbang for the time. Yeah, well. I'm just gonna mop up. Well, um, I'm enough woman for all of you. Well, if you want to stick around. I feel like I feel you. It's a circus. Did you recycle it? Uh, there we go. I need, a, I need an answer, honey. Because you kind of got me on the fence here. Do you think that I I'm need still an waffling? Answer one way or the other. Do you think other? I'm still waffling on trying to yes decide? Yes or no? Of course not. No. Yeah, no. Is that a final no or a no? I need more time to think about it. No. 
No, no not right now. Uh, no, never. Yeah. They're being responsible. So They're listening. Sure, I've got to go. I'm sorry, Don. Bye. It's great. It's been great, though. I think this might be a good time for everybody to just leave, and Sharon and I need some time, honey. Would you just yeah, stay? Nice yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I I right. I'm just doing this embarrassing. Oh, no, actually, I, it was very entertaining. I don't know what to say. Oh, yeah. It's better catering next time. <laughs> if you need some really? counseling, thanks, Stephen the Martyr. Just come and visit. I need some serious counseling. I'll be available anytime. Oh, there is that Howard. Oh, I affect my fair skill. I didn't even know you were that. I didn't know what you like. And that's oh. for telling everyone I was a man. Oh. Still at the university. Dude. Wow. Well, that's good. That yeah, she hits like a man. Goodbye, Sharon. Thanks for coming to Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. Well, don't you worry yeah. about it. Hey, you and I've always got room for you if you want to come be a freak with us. I think that may be my only option left. Me and Captain Faust will be waiting at the bar for you. Okay, man, thanks. Appreciate it. Where's the bar anyway? I didn't want to come in the first place, but I didn't know. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Sure. You take care. We're playing in Houston next week. Bring that ass. There's reasons why I quit drinking. You are one. Please don't be a Please don't be Are you begging me some more? That really turns me on. <laughs> Please, it's one of my favorite you. words from you. I'm begging you. None of them went to this amount of effort, did they? None of them booked a room. None of them called all your ex boyfriends. None of them. With this amount of effort, I'm trying to show something here. You know what they did? This is do an that? authentic thing. You know what that they did? did? That you didn't do? What? You knew when to leave. Your stuff will be waiting on the lawn when you get home. Let's go to room service. Yeah, um. I seem to have misplaced my dignity somewhere. Could you bring it up to the Austin room? The Austin Travis room? Yeah. All in the name of Fawn, her will be done. With a little look. Come on. A wig of the eye. Boom, boom, boom. A toss of the hair. A flash of that smile. Oh, and it's over. It's a very over. You've got to hold her, but somebody told her it's her work. You're just a satellite spinning around her in the cold, lonely night. Standing still, she's a hurricane on the moon. Go get you a She'll destroy your planet. Her you name drink? is Janet. Huh? All in the name of Fawn, her will be done with a little look. A wink of the eye, boom, 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 boom. a toss of the hair, a flash of that smile, oh, and it's over, it's a very over. You've got to hold her, but somebody told her it's her work. You're just a satellite spinning around her in the cold, lonely night. Standing still, she's a hurricane on the moon. She'll destroy your planet. Her name is Janet. Ooh, can I, get some I could have brought